Alrighty, happy Friday. Got release day for Zendikar Rising, and um, we got a set booster box pre-ordered, so I just did a little sample here, a little warm-up. Uh, I got three of the draft boosters and one of the collector boosters. Do a little bit of gambling, I guess. Um, I don't know, I've got burnt on the last couple of these I bought, Core 21, but they were there and I wanted to do it, so I did. So I'm going to start with the draft boosters. I'll be going a little slow through it just because um, I haven't seen a lot of this set yet. We opened up, I opened up one pre-release kit. So I'm still just trying to get a sense of the cards and I'm probably not familiar with them so I kind of read them as I go. But here's hoping. See if we can get something cool. Oh no, these are... I do not like when they do the rare in the front. Oh, and with the modal cards, it's even harder. So, I'm just going to go like that. And this one I think should be an uncommon. Yeah. So we've got a Shadow Stinger. Not bad. Rogue. Journey to Oblivion. When it enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent until it leaves. So, party mechanic, which I'm not super excited about or keen on. It sounds interesting, but it doesn't intrigue me a whole lot. We got a Ghastly Gloom Hunter, which means I think there's another uncommon in the back here. Balaged Recovery, return target card from graveyard to your hand, or enters as a tap land. Not bad. We've got a Ghastly Gloom Hunter, Flying Lifelink that you can kick. Not too bad. Sneaking Guide makes little things unblockable. An Expedition Skulker. More Rogue Tribal. Skyclave Sentinel. Hmm. I think I did get one of those out of my pre-release kit. We got a Dauntless Survivor. Practiced Tactics. Hmm. All right. An Expedition Diviner. When this creature dies, draw a card. Nothing too crazy there. Fissure Wizard. Ooh, nice. Showcase uh, Canopy Bailith. I don't... I like the showcase art. I don't love the showcase art. Like, it's cool, but it, it doesn't... It doesn't reach out to me that much. We've got Deliberate. Pretty cool picture there. Our token is a Drake. I think we've got a foil in this pack. Nope. Got a Mythic, though. Oh, the land, of course, duh. Land is a Plains. And we do have a Mythic in this pack. Tyler Jacobson. Looks like a creature. Oh, Planeswalker. Jace, Mirror Mage. When it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create a token that's a copy of Jace. Kicker 2. Not bad. Not bad. Very cool. Take a Mythic. People seem to be, like, not super, not crazy excited about that card, but seem to think it'll be useful. So we're going to go one, two, three, four from the back again. Let's try that. Let's switch those. I don't know if some people find that annoying to switch it around, but I like to open my rares last. 
We've got basswood surge. Put him on the battlefield and then shuffle if it was kicked. That's not bad, I don't think. It's interesting. A lull mage is familiar. So little mana dork that helps out kicked or that uh, benefits from kicked spells. I think our modal card is an uncommon again. So mind carver. When it enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature. As long as the opponent has eight or more cards. That's not bad. Not a bad little uh, equipment there. And I've got a good deck for that too. Rotting Blight Priest. We got Anti Cognition. An Expedition Skulker. Has Death Touch as long as you control another rogue. We've got Reclaim the Wastes. Search your library for basic land, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. If it was kicked, search your library for two. Okay. Could be useful. Oh, new art for Disenchant. I assume that's new art. It's like a core person. We've got a Kazandu Stomper. I'm getting distracted, like, there's something weird that, yeah, you can't really see it on the video. There's, like, a weird color on the border. I assume it's the ad card, but it's distracting me. <laughs> We've got Molten Blast. Rabid Bite. Target creature deals damage equal to its power. Field Research. Cleansing Wildfire. Are there art cards in the regular draft boosters? Oh, it's the... Right. <laughs> We've got the Modular Token. Forest. Nice looking forest. And this one's a rare... Nice. One of the choice lands, whatever these are called. Pillar Verge Pathway and Needle Verge Pathway. Very cool. Alright, last of the regular draft boosters. So we'll go four from the back, and I can see the back is an uncommon. Pelica Caverns and Pelica Predation. Pelaka? All right, kind of cool. This should be uncommon then. Yep. We got the Sure-Footed Infiltrator. More Rogue Tribal. And the Umara Mystic. <clears throat> Surfing on the Mana Ray. Pretty cool. We've got a Cliffhaven Kite Sail. It's not even bad. A Nemana Skitter Sneak. Menace. An Ardent Electromancer. Enters the battlefield, add red for each creature in your party. All right. Farsight Adept. The Scavenged Blade. We've got Scale the Heights. Tazim Raptor, a Nahiri's Binding, right, did get one of those before, 
and chilling trap. And I think we've got another one of the modal tokens. A royal eruption. Kicker. Hmm. Yep. Another modal token. Our land is a mountain this time. Pretty cool looking current running through it or something and we've got a rare this one's Jesper Icing 6-6 six, six. Crag Plate Balith has kicker, 2 and a green can't be countered, hexproof and haste if it was kicked it enters with 4 one ones on it so just a big stomper pretty cool though big smashy thing Nice, so in the three draft packs, we've got Crag Plate, Balith, the Needle Verge Pathway, and Pillar Verge, and Jace, Mirror Mage. Alright, so we'll finish up with the Collector Booster. Try our luck here, see if we can't come up with anything. Everything foil, including our token plant. We'll see the other side of it. Well, yeah, let's just do that now. Our plant illusion. Plant looks cool. I like that. All right, commons. <clears throat> We've got a synchronized spellcraft. Another party card. We've got an Expedition Skulker. Death Touch as long as we have another Rogue. We've got Seagate Banneret. Cost five, creatures get one one. Eh. Some new stuff though, not in the uh, that weren't in the draft packs. Ooh, foil spare supplies. I think it's a useful little card. Pretty cool. A scale the heights. <clears throat> that one we definitely saw before. All right, into the uncommons. We've got a roiling regrowth. It's not even bad. It's like a better. Um, I'm blanking on the name. More costly though, of course. The Tangled Florahedron. I think this one's kind of useful. It flips for a, uh, it flips for a <clears throat> green, or a, a forest. I think it's not bad. A little mana dork. Speaking of forest, got one here. And now we get into the rares already. All right. Well, this one is Crawling Barons. Extended art. Not bad. I think it's a I think it's an okay card. This one's a foil rare. 4/4 four, four, two color. Zagris, Thief of Heartbeats. Costs one less to cast for each creature in your party. Has Flying, Death Touch, and Haste. Other creatures you control have Death Touch. I've seen this one come out of a couple boxes. He seems, uh, he seems okay. He has like Planeswalker Death Touch. This one's just a common. Dreadworm. Whenever land enters battlefield under your control, it gains indestructible until end of turn. All right. This is kind of the little middle showcase section. This one's uncommon. The Skyclave Pickaxe. When it 
enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. And it has landfall, gives it 2-2. Two, two. Not bad. Alright, this should be kind of the fireworks section. Oh, what do we got here? Another planeswalker. We've got Nahiri. Nice, so we got a mythic. Nahiri, create awesome artwork. She creates a core warrior. Reveal a warrior equipment. All right. I don't know a ton about her, but the artwork's awesome. It's a cool character, I, I think. We've got foil uncommon. So this must be the foil showcase slot, maybe. Which is a canyon jerboa. Pretty cool. And I think we should have one more rare. Yeah, so this is a rare red Nahiri's Lithoforming. Pretty cool looking. So showcase Nahiri's Lithoforming. Sacrifice X lands for each land, draw a card. You may play X additional lands this turn. So basically refresh your hand. Pretty cool. Foil showcase, not bad. So the collector box, we got the litho forming, the extended art Nahiri, the Zagras, and the Crawling Barons of Note. No double sided. Oh, yep, just the Tangled Florahedron. Cool. All right, well, that was Zendikar Rising. Um, Pretty cool stuff. I'll have to kind of look and reread everything and see, you know, what I might be able to slot into decks and what seems good. But I wanted to kind of um, break just a little bit of it and, and take a look. So hope you enjoyed.